Hi, and welcome to this Langworks CAD tutorial. My name is Danny, and this time I'm going to show you how to insert planes or hatchings using my favorite CAD program for landscape design. Planes or hatchings are used extensively for a better representation of different parts of a drawing, such as paving, tiling, lawn areas, and many more. Landworks CAD offers three different methods for inserting them. We'll find these options in the surface commands. Insert plane hatch by boundary will fill my selected boundary entities with a plane or a hatching. Please note that all the boundary lines, arcs and curves must be connected by their endpoints in order to form a continuous boundary loop. In this example, I'm going to select these two circles as my boundary then click the command. As you can see, it has filled my boundary with a solid fill. Also, I could select the boundary entities of this pool and insert another solid fill. Next is insert plane by boundary points. This allows me to click around my drawing and have the plane insert between the points. I could snap to end points to draw my plane or press the control key whilst inserting my plane to override the cursor snap function. I will fill this area now just clicking on each corner. I'm also pressing the control key on my keyboard to override the snap function and go as close as possible through that curve. Insert plane by interior position will insert a plane or a hatching when you click inside the boundary we wish to fill up with a plane. Here is another example. I'll just click inside that area and it will fill it with another solid plane. With this command, all boundary entities must form a loop Otherwise, the command won't be able to add a plane. Where to pick inside the boundary also has an effect on whether the software can fill the area or not. Sometimes your area will need to be cleaned up before inserting a plane. It is recommended to use the select a chain of entities command to highlight the boundary area to fill in. When we reach an intersection, we need to tell Langworks CAD which path to take until we close the loop. Once I get my boundary selected, I should be able to insert the plane by either interior position or by boundary. Just to recap, there are three primary ways to insert your planes, by boundary, by points, or by interior position. Use the divide entity by another entity command and the trim, divide and explode to break entities if required to connect endpoints. And finally, use the select chain of entities command under the selection masks to select your boundary before inserting your plane by boundary. Gracias for watching this video. Remember, it's free to subscribe. Thumbs up if you found this video useful and let us know if you have any questions. Thanks again and see you next time.